what makes the Loop app so different? It fits into the collaborative Canvas class as a new entrant with apps like Notion and Coda. But even in the early days of release, Loop is different. It's the components, of course. We started using Loop in Teams chat. Today, we have the Loop app and along with it, new apps to create and use components. In this video, I'll take you through the different ways to use Loop components from within Microsoft 365 apps and within the Loop app itself. But first of all, what is a Loop component? The definition seems to have changed since the launch of the Loop app. It used to be that the Loop thingy that you added to a Teams chat and an Outlook email, that was a Loop component. But now a Loop component is also the thing that we add to a page with the forward slash. Loop components are the building blocks of content, the compounds of autonomous collaboration. So let's return to the beginning. Picture this scenario, we're in a conversation, a meeting, or we're writing in an email, and we need to grab a digital scrap of paper because we need to share with the people in that conversation. We don't have time or patience to open up a different app like OneNote or Word and share it with others in the conversation. There are too many steps and choices. What should we use? Where should we store it so everyone can access it from the chat or meeting? It is at syncing for everyone. Instead, we add a loop component. We choose something appropriate to start with or just a paragraph. Now I'm going to take us through the email version. In an email, I could uh, add a loop component. I'm going to choose a questions and answers component. Just name that component. And then I can send that off. So name it, send it, start co-creating. Let's add a couple of questions. Where is that loop component? It's in your OneDrive. But why? Because it's quick and it works. If you've been an early adopter of loop components, you have probably got hundreds of these things in your OneDrive. Let's take a look at mine. I've got tons of them in Microsoft Teams chat files. If I scroll back up to this level, I've got um, the Word files, so there's a few because Loop and Word has just come out recently. And then somewhere down here, there's also attachments and all the, yeah, somewhere down here. Point is that it's difficult, right? Look, they're in all these different folders depending on the app that you use to create the component. And they're hard to keep track of, uh, even though we have a few options to organize them until now. So let's move on to the new stuff. Here's the new Loop app. Now, how do we start making sense of all of those loop components, especially the one that I created earlier? Check this out. Go to the recent list, and you'll see the, uh, the list of loops that are there from different pages and, and the like, but they don't just show pages that I created in the loop app. See the component that I just created in email. We'll open it up. Great. First thing, that's, that's awesome. It means that we can open up a loop component that we've created in an app, and uh, it's within the loop app. We've get that full experience. We'll click shared locations, and the source for the loop app. The source for the loop component is the email that we just created. So let's add it to a workspace. We'll add it to learn Microsoft loop course. Boom, done. We've looped the loop component into a workspace. Yes, it's still in my OneDrive, but now the people within the workspace have access to it. Maybe in future, this will mean that we can share loops in private meetings with guests from outside of our organization. Do you know what else we can do? We can copy a link to the page and share the page as a component. We might want to keep the rest of the workspace private for my team, but we also want to share a loop page about a meeting or a thing with someone who was not there at the meeting or part of the chat. Handy. 
even more magical than that, maybe we just want to share a paragraph or a table from a loop page. We can select the part of the page that we want to share, click the grab handles on the side of the loop and create a loop component. Then we can copy and share it with someone outside of our team. That's all they get access to. So I've just sent that to Elizabeth and let's see what she sees. See, only the content inside the magical loopy aura. Here it is in chat with Elizabeth. Now, if I can loop back around to the feature that we looked at earlier, Elizabeth can see the loop component in the loop app. If she clicks on the name of the loop component, it opens up in the loop app in her recent list. Are you starting to understand why this thing is called Microsoft Loop? Components are the magic that simplifies collaboration and brings people together to simply get work done. Love it. If you love it too, let me know. Like this video, share it. If you're interested in learning more, check out my Learn Microsoft Loop course and soon, live instructor-led sessions. I look forward to looking you in. Um, I mean, I look forward to looping you in to this new way of working. See you again. Bye for now.